say let us These three people had never met before 5 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, but they had one thing in common. I just really felt the need to do something. We have to fight the cause together, and that's what we're doing. We're all humans, and we're all beautiful. Matthew Corey stood at the corner of 3rd and Columbia for hours. I've been going to the other protests this week. After everything that happened yesterday, especially in Washington, D.C., I just really felt the need to be out here and make sure that people found out what happened. And his tenacity inspired others to join him. <laughs> Michelle Richardson Stokes works at the Tippecanoe County Building. I was on my lunch break, and I seen this young man standing out here. And I said, well, when I get off work, I'm going to go out here and stand with this young man. Christian Carrera joined soon after with his guitar. And Together we can change this world. I got off work and I saw him and I was like, yeah, bro. When I got home, I was like, I have to help him. And bring us peace. Living in Lafayette for 41 years, you will experience it. And it's, it's going to go on. Racism is not going to die, but we will have to, you know, put a cap on it. Michelle says unity is important for the end goal she would like to see happen. Reform, train the police officers a whole different, a whole different way because I never want to know how George Floyd's mother feel. I never want to know how Tamir Rice's mother feel. I don't want to know how Trayvon Martin's mother feel. I don't want to know that. Matthew says he was very happy for the company and the support. I think there's a nationwide movement going on that's really motivating people. I mean, I was just happy to be a part of it. Let us share all the hate from the world and become one humanity. Let us breathe. Anna Darling, News 18.